Today, I'll be guiding you through my current iOS setup, including the wallpaper I'm using, app icons and widgets, as well as the entire setup process from beginning to end so that your iPhone can look exactly like mine. Hi there, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Everything that I discuss in this video will be linked in the video's description and in the pinned comment. Also, if you've been watching my content for a while and haven't hit subscribe or you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 30K, so I'd really appreciate it. All right, so some prep work. You'll need to download two apps. The first one being the Shortcuts app made by Apple. And the second app is Widgy Widget. For the app icons, I'm using an icon pack called Vision iOS App Icons. This is where you will also get your widgets from as well, depending on the tier that you end up going with. This is made by an amazing creator named Loki. There are nearly 700 different app icons from built-in iOS apps to social apps. There's even Google apps and a ton of different categories to choose from. Depending on the tier that you buy, you'll also get 11 different styles of widgets. Also, what I love about this pack is if you do end up buying the top tier, you can ask Loki to create an app icon for you if you don't see it in the pack already, which is really cool. I'll get into how to add the app icons in a little bit. This is simply the best icon pack that I could find out there, and I'm loving it on my home screen. If you're starting from a basic iOS setup kind of like this, we'll want to make sure we clear all of our apps or widgets that we have on this screen. So go ahead and delete those apps. You don't have to delete them from your phone, just remove them from your home screen. For the wallpaper, I'm using a wallpaper from my new wallpaper pack called Vivid. With the pack, you get 20 unique handcrafted 4K wallpapers designed specifically for your iPhone. It's by far the best wallpaper pack that I've made and I'm super proud of it. And I totally get it. If you're not into buying wallpapers, you don't have to. I did a full video of the best places to find over 5 million wallpapers. So I'll link that at the end of this video that you can just watch after this one. To add the wallpaper, long press the home screen and then tap the plus icon, go to photos and find your saved wallpaper. Once you're back here, you can adjust the font. I really like this style lately. I like the thickness all the way up and go ahead and change the color to a white color. Now for adding widgets, depending on the tier that you bought with the icon pack, you would have received some widgets. The widgets from this pack come in small, medium, and large, and they kind of vary depending on what you want in the different sizes. But from what I can tell right now, as of recording, there's 11 widgets in there and they all look great. For this setup, I'm using three small widgets, smart folder, small weather, and small reminder. Before we get actually into Widgy, let's go ahead and add the widget slots to our home screen. This will just make it easier going forward. Long press the home screen, hit the plus icon at the top left, and scroll down to where Widgy is. There's actually not a name for it. You just have to look for the Widgy icon. It looks like this, and go ahead and tap on it. Then what you'll do is you'll add the first small widget slot by tapping add widget. And then what you'll do is repeat the steps. You'll hit the plus icon again, look for Widgy and add the second and third slot. Little disclaimer, Widgy might ask you to pay for more slots. I can't remember, it's been a while. It's been years since I even first downloaded Widgy. So keep that in mind, you might have to buy an extra slot or two. But for me, I'm always changing my app icons and widgets anyway, so it's no big deal. One last thing, long press the home screen one more time and slide over to a blank home screen. And what you'll do is take a screenshot because we'll need this for later. Now adding the Widgy widget to Widgy is very easy since we got this from a downloaded pack. So what you'll do is you'll tap on the widget folder. You'll want to add and then tap on the Widgy file and that will automatically take you to Widgy and it will open up your widget within the app. Now tap the back arrow and go to manage at the bottom. It's in the middle. Next, tap on the Widgy slot to add it. I'll select the first one and then I'll select the widget that I want to add. You'll then select the spot you want the widget to be in and then hit the check mark. You'll then add the widget you want for the small spot number two and small spot number three. Just make sure you put it in the right spot you would like it to be in. And now let's tap on Setup Transparency. Then you'll tap Add Wallpaper and select your screenshot that we took earlier. Lastly, tap on the check mark 
and now all of your widgets will appear on the home screen. Now we're going to add app icons to the home screen. Go to the shortcuts app, hit the plus icon, and there should already be a shortcut suggestion for you. Select open app, then select app, and we're going to open up Twitter. You can name the shortcut, so I'm going to tap this little arrow here and rename it to Twitter. Then we're going to tap on the same arrow and then select add to home screen. Here we have to do two things. If you don't want the app icon name to appear, just delete the name. Then select the first circle and then select choose photo and tap on your icon, then select choose and then add. And now it's on your home screen. So many steps. Again, you'll have to do this for each app icon that you want to add to your home screen and we're done. Thanks for joining me on this journey through my iOS setup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with a fellow tech enthusiast. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you on the next video.